Hey everybody, I'm Bobo the Vulture. Hey, I'm Bean. And it's time for more Let's Play Together Hot Tofu Boyfriend Holiday, Holiday Star. Star. And we're going to start a new game again um, because you guys didn't, didn't get to join us on that chapter. last adventure. But yes, we just had a missing episode because I had been slaving away trying to get audio um, quality improved and uh, ended up unplugging Bean's mic. So, But we've already played through the chapter of the two little Christmas, Christmas thieves, thieves that say, Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas! And we've played through the Bleeding Heart Otaku Tank Energy Energon cosplay episode. Mm -hmm. and, and now we're doing some kind of eclipse glowing path or track. Looks like it might be uh, the space choo-choo. Okay. Well, Let's find out. The day the night slept. Dazzling night on dreaming star. Ruler of the stars. The dreaming king. That's The path to his kingdom quietly awakens in the sleeping night sky. We must not miss the train. We're, we cross the glowing river. We follow the obsidian map into the world of shadows. Going to the upside down. Hide in the shadows. Going to the upside down. Oh yes. no! And this is apparently the one thing you need a mouse for. You cannot uh, change this uh, without. Hmm. Do -do Not do bulcher. Do. Bulcher, but more like bul butcher, right? <laughs> but <laughs> is bulcher is <laughs> <laughs> oh <God. laughs> Wow, sorry about that. Uh you enjoyed that. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm good. Alright. Is Vulture Bean okay? Yeah, Vulture Bean is good. Are you okay? <laughs> you almost choked for a minute there. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I'm over. <sighs> I'm not here. Oh, it's almost the end of the year. And Nageki just came out to me. I'm gay. <laughs> wow. What, what, what do you... I believe I am what you would refer to as a ghost, bound to the place of my death, or something like that. Well, that's what he said. That's what he said? I only ever see him in the library, but I just thought that he was a shut-in. I never expected this. Like a Spanish Inquisition. I've seen a thousand wonders in my time, but even I'm a little surprised. Of course, he's still Nageki. It's not like we can't be together anymore. Together forever and ever we fly. Hmm. Hmm. No, no matter who or what he is, he's still my friend. Sorry, I was just moving some windows around to make sure that I could take a look at the uh, microphone and audio levels as uh, we move forward. Yeah, we should be fine now. Yeah. This won't change anything. You are very strange, Miss Vulture. Shouldn't you pick your friends a little more carefully? What are you talking about? I can be friends with a ghost if I want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all for today. See you all tomorrow. Half days remind you that it's the end of the semester, huh? Indeed, there is perhaps a week left. Oh, that's so lonely. I don't want to stay in class 2 3 a little longer. Okosan feels lonely too. Okosan does not want to be thrown out of this classroom. Why not repeat a year if you want to stay that much? If you love class 2 3 so much, why don't you bury it? Yep. Repeating a year in high school would be a little much. You don't mind, Sakuya? You don't feel sad that we might all split up at the end of the year? Hmm. Not at all. 
agree. Mentality is for the weak. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'm one of the weak then. I mean, yeah. He literally is he's, one of the weak. He's he has very, a weak stomach. Very weak. He's got a weak stomach. Illnesses. I hope we can all be in the same class again next year with Mr. Naraki. Also, why didn't they capitalize Mr.? Hmm, hmm. Yeah, you want to know too. Well, uh, I hope I see you all in the spring too. Mm, doesn't seem too sure about that. The year is almost over. Meaning, I'm almost through with the library too. I should be heading over there right about now. Oh, uh, could you wait a moment? Uh, huh? We're not done. Sorry, uh, I forgot to tell you all something. Um, they'll be opening the school, uh, the night after tomorrow. Opening the school at night? Seems like a bad idea. Is this some sort of school-wide bravery challenge? Oh, is this gonna be, like, one of those lockdowns? Where they... Oh, they lock you in. Yeah, overnight. they shut everybody in for the night, and the yeah, Crips and Bloods I, have to... Yeah, we had something like that at, uh, at the high school, too. At high school. <laughs> at, at high school. I went to high school. <laughs> I went to a high school with a human. I enjoy high school. <laughs> I usually take class I am and participate student. in activity. <laughs> a grand tournament of guts close to close the year. Perfect to make the blood boil and the flesh crawl. Come here, Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it says. <laughs> Oh. Think of the memories we'll make. <laughs> make the blood boil, the flesh crawl. Come here, Hazel. <laughs> uh, I don't want to make those memories. Unfortunately, uh, that's not it. The astronomy club's activity night. Do you want this blanket? Uh, no, no, yeah. No, yeah. No. no. <laughs> okay. This, the the astronomy club. Meaning, the astronomy club used to do a lot of serious observation, but after a while, their activities devolved into bonfire mixer parties. Bonfires are fun. Mm -hmm. After a long and circuitous tale, they turned into a cult, and they worshipped the bonfire as a god, and the student council had to enact punitary measures. If you want to hear more about their story, go buy that thing and listen to it. You know, the thing? The one that isn't out in English. Don't get that at all. Yeah. That might be a reference to some kind of story that we don't know about. Will people even want to buy from that description, Bean? What? Is this some manga that I don't know about? It's possible it might be Bible Black. That's about, like, a, an occult club at a school, isn't it? I don't know if they were astronomy. I was never. I know there anime. was a lot of porny stuff that happened, but. Mm. It's stealth marketing. Stealth marketing. Hmm. It didn't sound very stealthy to me. A true samurai is never stealthy. That's true. You're confusing them with ninjas. Hmm. So the astronomy club has started having actual activities again. That's right. Though the bonfires are still banned. Mm. There's going to be a total lunar eclipse that night. We decided to open up the roof so everyone could see. And you don't need to be a member of the astronomy club to come. Everyone's welcome. Total lunar eclipse? That sounds exciting. Who knows when another one will happen. I think I'll go. If Facebook is to be believed, there's a once-in-a-lifetime astrological phenomenon happening every week. Yep. Hmm, I heard there's gonna be a radical lunar eclipse, Slim Nageki. It's a total lunar eclipse, Ms. Vulture. You know what else is radical? Reading is radical. I made a book when I was a kid about it in school. About how reading is radical? Reading is radical! <laughs> like that was the title? Yeah. Because we got to make our own book. <laughs> so you made a book about reading. Because I loved reading so much. <laughs> anyway, you that's know what a, else? That's a really meta book. <laughs> 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 Read this book. It's about how great <laughs> reading is. Have it somewhere. Uh, anyway, that's <laughs> don't 
totally rad. There you go. I believe it's a total <laughs> lunar eclipse, Ms. Vulture. Not a radical lunar eclipse. Nageki stares like the frigid wind of a Siberian winter night. It's frosty. Yep. <laughs> have you ever seen one, Nageki? Perhaps. I may have, or I may not have. I do not remember. I suppose he did only just realize that he's dead a few days ago. His memory must still be foggy. They're opening the school at night, the day after tomorrow, so we can see it. Wanna watch it with me, Nageki? Oh, we could have a moon viewing party in the library. The moon's going to be eclipsed. I'm not sure how much of a moon viewing party that would be. Wouldn't we have a better view from the roof anyway? Oh, yes. It's gonna be open after all, but can you get out of here? If it's to the roof, then yes. Hold on! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Really? Aren't you trapped in here? You just told me he couldn't leave the library. Perhaps I didn't tell you, or told you conflicting information. Make up your minds. Where can you be? I can't leave the library, but if I can move straight up and down, or I can move straight up and down. I mean, that's still technically leaving the library. And he starts bobbing his head up and down to prove the point. You ever see birds bobbing their heads up and down? Yeah, it's pretty yeah, cool yeah, looking. yeah. To the chemistry lab directly underneath us, for instance. Mobility, vertical only. That's amazing. I'll have to train my legs so that one day I can move like that too. You mean three ceilings and Doesn't floors. work that way. Um, so you'll be able to join us on the roof? Yep, yep. <laughs> Yay! That's amazing, Nageki. Really? I'm not sure I see what good it does us. Just think about it. We can go sunbathing on the roof during lunch breaks and stuff. Oh, I'm getting excited already. I suppose Because so. he's not a vampire, he's just a ghost, so he can totally be out in the sun. Yeah, vampires and ghosts are different things. Yeah. But you're always taking naps on the library windowsill anyway, so I don't think it will be all that different. Jeez, Nageki, isn't a change of scene supposed to be romantic? Anyway, let's watch the eclipse together. If you want to. Well, all right. Yay! Yay! You're awfully enthusiastic. Of course I am. Ah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Important notice. Please be aware. This episode contains spoilers for the Idigami Clan by Yoko Mizo Seshi. I wonder if that is the uh, thing that was being stealth marketed before, and I didn't necessarily have to out myself uh, for having knowledge of what Bible Black is. If you are reading it, or plan to read it, you may want to wait until after, after that to play this game. And to read whatever that picture is up there. Otherwise, enjoy the ride. You've been warned, everybody. Oh, the promised night of a total lunar eclipse. And not a cloud in the sky. Perfect for a, mu a moon viewing party. A moon viewing party. Are you alright, Bultravine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm not sure it's exactly a moon viewing party, but I am glad it's clear. The weather report said it might get cloudy after all. So wait, if there's not a cloud in the sky, might get what cloudy. are these? Well, it's getting cloudy. These, these. Mm. <clears throat> it's cold up here, so make sure to stay warm, everyone. I see you even brought a blanket, sir. Yes, 
this blanket always helps me relax. Wake up, you fool! Aren't you supposed to be the chaperone? Looks like the regular crew is all here. Meeting up in the school at night is like this is so exciting. It is a full moon. Oko-san's peace to your heritage awakens. Can you not feel your bestial inner selves calling Bean Nageki? Wait, you can see Nageki? My my bestial inner self? I don't think I have one. I can, Okasan. My hunter-gatherer blood boils. <clears throat> Looking at you, I almost wonder if there ever really was a time when humans ruled the earth, Miss Vulture. Okosan thinks Bean is probably not a human. No! I am a human. I won't take this human shaming. <laughs> Can the others even see him? Okosan doesn't seem to be having any trouble. I've heard that animals can see ghosts, so maybe the same is true of older breeds? What about Ryuda? Oh, hi, Nagaki. I thought you only have showed up at the library. Indeed. How do they all know who he is? Indeed. Well, if they go to the library, they might talk to him when they're there. They just didn't spark up a romance uh, with him because they don't swing that way. Because otherwise, the pigeon romances that you can have in this game would all be somewhat more awkward. I suppose they could all be by pigeons. I guess. I don't know. But either way. He can see him just fine. Oh, well, if he can see him just fine, maybe Rayuda and I are attuned with the paranormal. You guys both watched that movie, Paranorman. Hmm, Sakuya. Hmm. Is there really someone there? Yep. You can't see him? Kind of. <laughs> you can't see him? Kind of skinny morning tough. From the Marines? <laughs> John Cena, the Marine? I'm. Um, oh. I am not surprised. <laughs> Most birds haven't paid any attention to me until now. I am not sure I believe it. Is this a joke? He's none of the Marines at all. No! <laughs> That's true. John Cena's not in the Marines at all. No. He was just in a movie called <laughs> The Marines. Why I find that so funny? Uh, though if it were, I bet you'd fall for it completely. Only birds who are pure of heart can see him. Oh, burn. Okozan is pure. Uh. I wonder if that's why so many people believe they can see John Cena. <laughs> what? Do you mean to mock me, filthy mongrel? Ah, oh, jeez, don't fight you two. Ooh. Doves aren't usually nocturnal, are they? Why do they all have so much energy? They must be punchy. <gasps> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Ah, oh, these two have too much energy as well. They have balls on their beaks. <laughs> <sighs> I had hoped they would calm down once Christmas was past, but it would seem that they become excited in response to any sort of special event. Doctor! Whoo! You're here to see the eclipse too? <laughs> <laughs> what are you all hooing about over there? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wearing my Doctor Who shirt, by the way. Oh, okay. With the oh, you on are. It. I suppose I am. It is certainly an interesting phenomenon that these two insisted on seeing. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! It's hide and seek! Mr. Moon is playing hide and seek! Well, everyone seems to be having fun. Hmm. It's almost midnight. <laughs> Such a weird way to say it. Mm. 
<laughs> mm. <laughs> Look at the sky, everyone. It should start soon. Tasty morsel of sky. Nageki, Nageki, it's starting. You don't need to shout. I can hear you perfectly well. You'll bother the neighbors. We're on the roof. Oh, it's the middle of the night. I forgot. I've been walking in my sleep. Oh. Um, Nageki, can I sit next to you? Go ahead. I can't tell if his feathers are warm or cold. Or I can barely even tell that I'm touching them at all. It could be just, just my imagination. No. But sitting here, gazing up at the night sky, he looks happier than usual. Seeing his face makes me feel warm inside. This must be all, all my, my imagination. imagination. Yeah, I mean, we knew that was coming at this, this point. <clears throat> the eclipse is starting. Wait a second. And we're on the holodeck all of a sudden. We're on the... What's it, The Polar Express? There's gonna be uh, a... A the dove what? made out of cellular peptide cake uh, with mint frosting. Huh? I can see no one else here on the train. It's very quiet. Is this the last train? It's dark outside. I look up and address the dove leaning his head out the window opposite. Don't stick your head out too far, Nageki. I won't. It looks so strange outside. What are those lights flowing by? Are we next to a river? I think so. The river of stars, that is. The river of stars? The Milky Way. Those are the stars you see. Oh, so that's it? I see blue stars and green ones and all colors. There are indeed a great variety. Mm, what? Nageki takes a black planisphere out from somewhere and points at it. We're here. Near Cygnus. Cygnus? Is that a constellation? That's right. Maybe you know it as the Swan. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. I know that one. So Cygnus is the Swan? I never knew. Wow, I just lied to Nageki. What? Yeah, I totally know what's up, boy. Yeah, what's up, boy? <laughs> <laughs> You're in a strange mood. Maybe we should miss not record these properly the first time every time. <laughs> the bright one we just passed is Deneb. I think we'll see Albiero in a few minutes. You know a lot, Nageki. I always told that... Um, I was always told that every hunter-gatherer needs to be able to find Polaris. But other than that, I don't know any of them. If we passed its tail and are nearing the head, we must be traveling from north to south. We're heading on damn south land. Hmm, but... That's you, sorry. But the swan is a summer constellation. It's a little too early for us to be seeing it from the northern hemisphere. It's still the third semester, after all. I guess the Swan Constellation couldn't just stay there, man. Uh, wait, Nageki. When did we get into onto this train? Who knows? Where are we going? Oh. And the train is going through outer space? It would seem so. What do I do? We're finally on a date in outer space, and I forgot my spacesuit. But what will happen if I go into a vacuum without a spacesuit on? Will I explode? The window's been open the entire time. <gasps> Close it, Nageki! Before we explode! Calm down, Ms. Vulture. 
It's alright. This is probably just a dream. A dream? That's right. Nageki can move vertically, but he still can't leave the school. Hey, I could move into space by moving vertically up. Space is above us. <laughs> There's no way we could be on the train together. Quit trying to vertical shame um, me. Um, what were we doing? Astronomy. Oh, right. We were watching the eclipse on the roof with everyone. Does this mean we fell asleep in the middle of the eclipse? Perhaps. It's a little bit cliche, but you could try pinching your cheek. Oh, yes. Uh, hmm, it doesn't hurt. It feels kind of unsatisfying. I feel the same as always. But if you don't feel normal, this must be a dream. I see. That's too bad. That's too bad. <laughs> Going on a trip with you would be so much fun, but it's just a dream. Just a dream to me. I don't mind if it is. He continues staring out the window at the pale stars. He seems more open than usual. Yeah, cross your legs, Nageki. No. Oh. I guess he's right. We should enjoy ourselves, even if it's just a dream. We will be checking tickets now. Please have them ready as the conductor comes by. Howdy there! Please show me your tickets! The conductor appears without a sound. I never felt him coming. He's as good as the doctor. Doctor! Doctor who? Hey, doctor! Um... Wait, have I, have I met you somewhere before? Could be, I've seen too many people every day to know. I don't know what kind of big voice this is. <laughs> I, <laughs> I feel, I really feel like I've seen him somewhere before. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Any anyway, tickets please! Tickets? You mean we need to pay to ride the train even though it's a dream? Come on on that train. Oh! And pay for it. I see you have the scorpion flame, sir. The planet spear gets you on for free. Wow. You get a free ride, Nageki? I don't remember getting this anywhere. Of course not. The scorpion flame is a treasure passed down only to the chosen ones. Space can be a dangerous place for someone without one of those. Space is the place. Take good care of it. Never, ever, ever give it to anyone, no matter how they ask. Even if they ask in German. Alright. It's a far cry from what a middle schooler might use in the science fair project. It looks antique and valuable. The stars aren't printed on the surface. They're instead glitter, and instead glitter almost with their own light. Are those real gemstones? And you, miss? You don't have a planisphere, do you? I need to pay a fare, too? Of course you do. Only the one with the planisphere gets on free. Ah, what a financially troubling dream. What do I do? I don't know. That seems like an important we might have question a choice at this point. to answer next time. Oh my! Let's save over the time we got to the same moment last time. Yeah. And uh, when we come back uh, in the future, we'll find uh, out what what we do. We'll find out what it is that we do. But until then, this is Bobo the Vulture. And this is Bean. And this is Let's Play Together and Record Both of Our Voices. Hot Full Boyfriend. Holiday uh. Star. Thanks very much for watching, folks, and Ooh. we'll see you next time. Bye.